Hello everyone, let's check some hidden Samsung features. Alright everyone, with Samsung One UI 4 and uh, 4.5 we have a future in Galaxy Labs which wasn't available officially but uh, we can't launch it through a third party application and we have some hidden features which are very interesting there. But when Samsung released One UI version 5 this feature was disabled and we can't use this anymore and now with One UI 5.1 and the uh, latest update coming from Samsung, this feature is enabled again and we can use it again. So let me show you which are these features and how to enable it. Alright, to make everything working, we need to open our Play Store and search for the application Activity Launcher. Here it is, Activity Launcher. This is how it looks like and just download it. When you download it, when you are ready, just open it. I already downloaded it. I will open it now and when all the applications are loaded, just tap here on the search bar. When you tap there, right here on the keyboard, LAPS. Here it is. Now just tap on the arrow next to call. Just tap it and here you can find that you have the option LAPS. Tap here on the three dots and select create shortcut. Add to home screen, yes, add it and now you have a shortcut for that lapse in your home screen. Where it is? I can't find it. Ah, here it is, it is already appear. Now, this is the icon with uh, the activity launcher icon next to it. It is like uh, the phone icon but it's something different. Now let's tap it. Lapse features can cause an unintentional i just didn't read that let's uh, launch it again to check what was written lab futures can cause an intentional operation and may disappear at any time that's exactly what was happening before with one ui 4 point something version and the transition to one ui 5 this future was disabled so what we have here guys we have first fake call settings, disable proximity sensor, probably you understand what that means, you just disable a proximity sensor and when you are in a call, the screen will always be on. So call accept reject button action, it's now default, you can use a single tap, double tap or long press, if you select a double tap, you can do, uh, you can accept and reject the call. When you just double tap, OK, what we have here, disable the end call screen, we'll check that uh, in a minute and we have contact photo call background. Alright, I will just call myself and we'll show you what that means. Alright, here it is, I'm calling now. And you can see what's happened, I'm calling from my number. And you can see the small picture in the middle and that's how incoming cow or outgoing cow is look like with this small picture all right let me just uh, disable that call and let's go and enable that uh, function contact photo call background now it's enabled and i will call again myself from my other number all right i'm calling and you can see what is happening here now the whole picture, my contact picture is the whole background of the phone. This small circle here and the whole picture is on the background. When I answer the call you can see what's happened. Just the picture stays in the background. So we have the whole contact picture filling the whole background and call screen of my device. That's a very nice feature, I use it all the time and let's just disable it. And go again to those features in LAPS, contact photo call background and displace a contact photo as a call background. That it is doing exactly what is written and we already check it. So what else we have? Disable the end call screen. So I will call myself again just to check how the end call screen looks like. Alright. I'm calling now, I'm answer and I will just 
and the call now and you can see this is the end screen waiting end screen but if I enable that feature and I will call myself again all right I will answer now and let's just end the call you can see it is immediately changed to the home screen without those end screens so we check that feature too let's just disable the sound sorry about uh, this ringtone disable the proximity sensor is doing exactly what it's written call accept reject button action we already speak about this and let's check now this feature fake call settings so it's written receive or place fake call so when uh, you are in that future a phone number you can enter a phone number I will put a number here some zeros color display name I will put a name here boss for example and now you have the option place a call place an outgoing call add new incoming call or input delay we have uh, input delay and when we put uh, for example 5 seconds delay like here you can put more of course and you tap on the button add new incoming call all right let's go to home screen and wait five seconds but you can see what's happened cow keeps stopping close the app let's open it again so it of course it's a little bit buggy that's why it's not official add new incoming call and you can see we have here a problem let's disable that option and tap and you can see what's happened my boss is calling with the zeros of the number and it's written boss let's answer it what's happened if you speak it nothing but like this you can fake your wife and say that uh, the boss is calling and you need to go out and take some beers all right this is how it's working obviously the delay option is a little bit buggy and it's not working so if you tap on place call you can see it is immediately calling to boss this is a fake call option and it's even answering the boss is answering me of course this is just uh, no one is speaking but uh, you can of course fake someone and that's how this future is working and these are the hidden futures in samsung galaxy phone labs so input delay it's not working uh, at that time but uh, probably they will fix it with some updates and here disable the end call screen which is important for me if you are a busy man and if you want to do something quick and contact photo call background place the uh, whole uh, contact picture in the background let's call it again and just check how it's look like here is my number and the whole picture is for the background that's it guys so just download activity launcher again here it is search here for labs tap on the arrow and here is the labs tap on the three dots and create shortcut and you can launch it at whatever time you want that was it thanks for watching and don't forget if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow Subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day.